Alright, peeps. Today we'll be looking at a LEGO Minecraft 2020 set. This is the Ilgerade. So this reassembles an iconic moment when you're playing Minecraft and when you hit that bad omen effect and you return to your village just in time to see a huge army of Ilgers raiding your home. So this is what the set is based on and this is the biggest boy in the line in this way for this year costing a total of $80 I think so here it is set to 1160 562 pieces and uh, relatively big set here's the back display shows you some of the play features and all right that's the box so now let's take a look at the figures first shall we so let's move this aside so included in this set are 11 different figures one big figure and uh four no five mini figures and two small figures so first things first you might notice when you first see this set the star of the show will be definitely the Ravager. So if you don't if you don't if you haven't played Minecraft or you haven't seen any Minecraft stuff, you um the, you'll know these guys are quite a beast and they are very tough and very hard to kill. If you don't have diamond gear, you're bound to be killed by these fellow little creatures who may look innocent at first, but once they charge at you head on like this, you, you you're gonna have to run for your life. So I'm gonna remove the Village, the Illager Captain that sits on top of here, uh, just like this 4x4 four four stud, perfect for him to sit on. I'll show you that figure in a second. Just want to show you the play feature of the Ravager. So this lever up here, uh, if you press it, rawr, rawr. So his neck will charge, will lean forward, and his mouth will open, letting out the roar. So when he's charging, he's going to be, this is his head butting. Get this on a headbutting action going. So there's just an elastic band inside the model that just helps with the friction and just propels the head forward. Unfortunately, though, the legs are stuck in place. The legs cannot be moved. I would like to see that happen actually. That would be pretty cool if the legs could move as well, just to get more articulation within this figure. But other than that, I like Lego's attempt on this looks pretty accurate to the game and I personally enjoy this figure a lot. The only thing I would ask complain about though is the lever. It just stands out way too much. It looks like the Ravager has like a little <laughs> mutation growing out of him. And I wish, yeah, I think LEGO, if you can just somehow take this off and like, not, I don't think it'll bother you and just leave the Ravager the way it is, but then this will still stick out. I guess you can still play with the, the, the action feature on this without believe it but I feel like it's just a little it's showing a little too much but I think that's fine and we'll leave it the way it is but pretty cool figure good attempt Lego good attempt also on the bad guys so here is the person that rides it this is the villager captain with his banner on the back and this is just it's just how it all comes together and that just fell off but anyways here so just like in the game, uh, the only thing that's different is that this can rotate, so his banner can go all the way down. But I like the figure. I like how, well this is not, you can't expect the exact same thing as the actual game because this is LEGO, we all gotta remember that. And the crossbow is a definite reassemblance, but it does not look anything like the game. But remember, this is LEGO, so we gotta deal with it. Um, here's his torso print, and yeah, pretty awesome figure I must say. So I'm just going to attach him back onto the back of the Ravager. There's that, and then also there's a, just a small Illager henchman. I think these are called Vindicators, if I'm not wrong, if you find them in the Woodland Mansions. These guys have the axe and they do a ton of damage in the game. Again, without iron gear or diamond gear, these guys are bound to kill you in within like two shots. 
These guys are very deadly and you need to face them with proper gear. There's that. The camera will focus. My camera has a problem with not focusing as you can see. Eyes, nice print, nice print on the torso. Alright, good guys. Not including the animals, those guys are passive. But let's look at good guys first. So we have, first and foremost, two villager minifigures. Uh, this, is not the, this is the first time we've received villager minifigures in this print. It's not the first time we've received a villager minifigure. The first time these guys appeared was in the village set, which I don't have. And second time, I think there are several other sets that had villagers, which I'll show you later. But so this one has that yellow orange print. I forgot what this guy does as a job, and I also forgot what this guy does. I think this guy is the car, the the cartographer. He does the maps. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is what his profession is. But he has the purple print, and like just like the game, their arms are crossed. Can't move these arms, they're just part of the mold. For feet, they're using the tiny children legs. <laughs> they're not using the normal adult minifigure legs, so these can't move at all. The only thing you can move though is their heads, so they can just turn around. They're like, hur, hur, hur. like that. So, villagers. Now, something special about the set this guy. Do you know who he is? No, if you don't know, I would advise you to watch Ninjago. But if you are a Ninjago fan, if you recognize this, you'll know this is Kai, the red fire ninja from Lego Ninjago. A direct reference. Come on, Ninjago's from Lego. This is a Lego set. It all works perfectly because this actually works. A Lego Minecraft Kai. This is too good, guys. Way too good. So this can be a good Minecraft skin, I'm just saying. Good Minecraft skin. And this is a really awesome figure. I love the reference they did here. Directly back to Ninjago. And even says in the box. It's confirmation. That is Kai, alright. That is Kai, everyone. So that is a really cool. He has his... He has a diamond sword. Perfect, because he'll be needing that to fend off against this powerful duel. Especially the Ravager, but why isn't he wearing armor? That Ravager is deadly as crap without armor. So, now we look at the animals, the passive side. So, for animals, we just got this plain old pig. He has been around forever since the very first Minecraft set. And uh, he will continue to just randomly appear in Minecraft sets. Hey, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's always good to collect <laughs> multiple of these pigs. I mean, there's so many pigs in the actual game, so... You can collect so much to the point where you can start your own farm. So it's just a pig. Nothing that simple. Exclusive to this set though is this new cat. This is not something you'll see often. Um, so this is the Desert Village variant cat with the orange black print. Uh, there, I, I forgot how many breeds are there in the game, but this is this is one of the many. And I like the I like how they at attacked or attempted to do this cat. I like the ear modes. The the heads are pretty cool. And uh, tail can move up and down. That's really much because of, it's really much it's not much you can do with this cat. So there's that. Alright and that completes all the figures. So let's move this aside. So here's the actual desert temple and as you can see it comes in three pieces. But uh, I'm sure you can detach them later. So we're gonna go over to this side first. So first and foremost on this side, this is a reassemblance of an Acacia tree, or a Acacia tree. I'm sorry for my pronunciation, but uh, I like Lego's reassemblance of it from the actual game. Doesn't look quite alike, but hey, uh, Lego tried, and I think they did pretty well. Uh, for Lego standards, definitely not for Minecraft standards, but for a Lego attempt, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, moving down here, you can see the terrain. This is what happens when you put when you put grass on the desert. Here, the color will be this olive green color, and then you can see there's just this connects to probably a body of water. Probably I'm assuming a river or like a lake or something, because it just cuts off here. And then. Um, 
over here. We, this is an armor stand with Kai's diamond armor, which I don't get why he's not wearing to fight that Ravager. This is the thing that could protect him from getting one-shotted. But anyways, his armor is right here on display. Um, just saying the armor stand itself can be taken off and they can take the chest plate off. And the head is actually a blank head, so you can use that to make, I don't know, dummy minifigures. Or you can use it for all sorts of other stuff, but it fits the helmet on perfectly, so once you slide up the helmet, it's just nothing but a blank head. So that goes back here. Moving on, you can see we have a flower pot here with, I think that's cactus. And we have a chest here with a bow, and some cod, and some emeralds, and diamonds in there. So this is one good chest to definitely, probably that's what, I think that's what the, ra the raiders are after, if, if I'm assuming. Over here, this is a little, uh, what do you call this? This is a cartographer's table, so I guess this is where, I guess I might be right, this, this might be where this guy sits. This villager he might be he goes here because then this is a printed piece this is a map and up here this thing here this is probably I would assume is a villager a village bell the bell things or it might be a lantern I'm not quite sure correct me if I'm wrong and then we go back here um you will have noticed here's the back of the cartography table and then I think this is hay Pretty sure this is hay. Hey, hey, a melon, a man has fallen to the Lego River. <laughs> but yes, that covers this section of the of the thing, and then here's the tree from the back, and just a river from the back. All right, next section. Here's the middle. So the middle part is a garden, one of the many gardens villages have. This one is growing carrots. So here's already two that's been harvested. And they're in the, I think this is the composter. I might be wrong. Uh, and then here we have some carrots. These ones here are ready for harvest. These ones are just about ready. These ones have just been planted. These ones have started to grow. These ones back here. So it also has that body of water running through the middle. And I think I like the design of the garden. Pretty nice, pretty nice Lego, pretty nice. Oh, by the way, just showing on the side, these are little shrubs. Little, little shrubs, not too much to see. Now, the final part of this set is the village house. It's just one house. Again, the door can be opened and closed, just like the real game. And how do we get inside this house, you may ask? You just detach the roof. The roof comes off in one beautiful piece. These are, I believe, these are just sandstone blocks to bulk up the design of the roof just like the game but now we can have a proper look inside so inside you can see there is a blue or light blue bed this i think is a bookshelf or a craft i think yeah that's a bookshelf and then you can see on display there are cactuses on flower pots and then if we get to this side you'll notice there's a furnace here smelting something and then the actual crafting table is in there so furnace crafting table and then on this side you just get the bed now it's a pretty simple house but Hey, less is more, so you can put this back in. So now you can you can detach this into three different pieces. So all you just simply do, snap this off, snap this off. And now you have three different elements and you can reassemble in whatever order you like. You can go, for, you can go, I guess, like this and the garden just sitting over here. But the instruction manual has some options as well. So, the instruction manual sh shows you to attach it like this, but then again, the, there are so many other options 
you can do because it comes into three separate pieces so this is really all about your imagination and uh, you can combine this set with the Illager Outpost as well as the Panda Nursery not saying that these are not compatible but they can be and just to show you guys right now these are the other sets which I'm going to review except for Crafting Box and the Skull Arena I don't have these two sets all these other sets I have and I'm going to do reviews on them pretty soon so that's just a sneak peek of what's to come now this set I'm generally very very satisfied with this set and I like the content it provides and the stuff within really like the design of the Ravager although I could think that lever could be fixed in a bit really love the idea they brought a direct reference from Ninjago by introducing Kai in Minecraft form and uh, like the cat the villagers and the overall design of the entire scenario is pretty neat and I definitely would recommend you to get the set uh, something definitely something worth going for and this is the biggest set of this wave it's actually not as big as other sets before like the cave and mine and ocean temple all those other stuff so for value I think this is good and I rate this set a total of 10 9 out of 10 one point off just because of that lever from that ravager which I definitely think can be improved so 9 out of 10 but then again that is my opinion on the set and my opinion is not the official opinion so uh, if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button uh, your opinion matters not someone else's opinion don't let that influence you it's your voice that matters so I'm about to lose my voice from doing reviews all day. So subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.